Hello guys, we are back with our next tutorial. In this tutorial, let's see about system bandwidth. As we all know that there is no possible possibility for a system to be distortionless, right? In one of our previous tutorial, we have gone through what is distortion and only the ideal systems which are not even possible in this current uh, situations. So those are called as ideal systems. Only they can be distortionless. So as if every system is dis uh, distortion, Every system has some distortion level. As we all know, previously we discussed that efficiency. No, no system is 100% efficient. Guys. If you give this much of energy, it will not give that much of energy in return. There will be some losses in type of, in kind of noises or anything. So, but it is possible to design a system that is distortionless over a certain range of frequency. The range of frequency is known as bandwidth of a system. So basically let us assume there is a system like this. So if the system performance is like this guys. It is 0 at some situations and it is 100 at some situations and again it decreases and it increases like random random increasing and decreasing. So the range at which it is maximum it is almost zero to 99.99. This will be the this frequency or that bandwidth that's what we call as bandwidth guys. So that is called as the system bandwidth guys. This is the first system. As we all know that there is no possibility for a system to be distortionless. But it is possible to design a system that is distortionless over a certain range of frequency. So it works absolutely perfect with almost 100% of efficiency in a particular range. Let us assume if we give a frequency from 99 to 150, it works absolutely perfect and if it is less or greater, it's going to have some distortion. So this range is called as the bandwidth of a system. So now I hope everyone got a small idea on this. So how we can decrease distortion, the few methods we will be going to discuss in the next tutorial. Thank you. Thanks for watching.